Hi everybody, welcome to MyotherapyHealthcare.com. Today in this video you're going to learn about aluminum, aluminum toxicity. I'm just going to read this to you and then I'm going to let you know the solution for if you have aluminum in you and this will indicate if you do have aluminum in you. Um, let's see, the products that contain aluminum. Although aluminum is not a heavy metal, it has been found to be toxic. It can cause poor calcium metabolism, extreme nervousness, see if you have any of these symptoms, by the way, headaches, anemia, <clears throat> decreased kidney and liver functions, memory loss, and aching muscles, to just name a few. Aluminum taken orally can weaken protein digestion, dry the tissues and mucus linings, and contribute to constipation. Aluminum is very popular metal used to make cookware, cooking utensils, and foil used extensively in most kitchens. The most common excessive use of oral intake is from the antacids, and it is the cause of most aluminum toxicity. Products such as Maalox, Melantin, uh, G. Lucil, and other, several others have high aluminum hydroxide content. Other over-the-counter drugs used for pain or inflammation contain aluminum and our arthritis pain formula. Ascriptin, vanqu Vanquish, <coughs> and Bufferin, <coughs> excuse me, also several douche preparations including Summer's Eve and Masking Gel contain it as well. Most baking powders on the market are labeled with it too. Aluminum is in your favorite deodorant and regular use of it may contribute to the clogging of underarm lymphatics and then to possible breast problems such as cystic disease. Besides antiperspirants and deodorants, it is found in city water, buffered aspirin, bleach flowers, table salt, cream of tartar, parmesan <clears throat> grated cheeses, beer, food processing of pickles and relishes, canned goods and tobacco smoke, etc. And do not forget the processed cheese used in fast food outlets. It contains a high aluminum content. The fast food cheeseburger has perhaps the highest. It is added to give the processed cheese its melting quality for its use on hamburgers. So now you have a better idea on the metal aluminum, its hazards of toxicity, and where you will possibly pick it up. Hope this has been of interest. Well, that, that was by Phil Dubois. Um, from Du Bois Health Foods, Carson City, Carson, um, in Nevada. So <clears throat> I just want to comment on, as a natural health facilitator, what you would do if you have aluminum in you. There's probably a high probability you do, right? And it usually collects in the brain. And another thing, which is another video on the pineal, pineal gland, is when you have fluoride in your system, it it goes into the pineal gland and then all the heavy metals are attracted to the fluoride. So it's not a good idea to have aluminum or any of that stuff in our brain, which we do because I don't know about you, but I've been exposed to this stuff. I do the best that I can navigate naturally as best as I can, but it's difficult to do in this society. So work with what you got and what you can do if you do have aluminum in you, start consuming horsetail. Horsetail is amazing. It's got silica in it and other ingredients, but horsetail pulls aluminum out of your system. And I will have other videos in the future and let you know other toxics that you can get pulled out of your system by just using things naturally and in your environment. Nature will always rule, so she always has something to counteract anything that can be thrown at us. But we need to be able to navigate that. But how do we know? I'm here to show you with myotherapyhealthcare.com. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Proactive health is what we're all about. Have a great day.